you're not capable of doing my job? Okay. So earlier this year, my boss took three months off to have some surgery and recover. I've been working for 28 years in my field and I'm pretty capable of my job. My boss is a highly strong woman who believes only she is able to do anything. Before my boss took extended leave, I asked her about filling a role while she was on leave and she told me, you are not capable of doing my job, no one here is. I asked again in an email and was told the same thing. Ha <laughs> ha! Listen, you can already tell where this is going. I sent the email to all my work colleagues. When they advertised to fill in the boss's role, no one applied. When management asked everyone why did no one apply, they all said they were not capable. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hey guys, why are you not applying? Well, my boss said I'm not capable, so I mean, listen, I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. He continues, there are over 40 staff who did not apply. Someone from another site did apply. He had just completed his new graduate year. They appointed Bob. <laughs> listen. What a name, it had to be Bob, right? They appointed Bob, who was 24. Bob emailed me after the week directing me to do all his work. There was multiple links and documents, stock order, meetings, agendas, etc. I replied I was happy to do this when I have a free moment. I did nothing. <laughs> Can you imagine Bob's face? I did nothing. It was clear within a week that Bob had no idea how to be a boss and things were going wrong very quickly. I was called to a HR meeting and was asked why I wasn't doing Bob's work he instructed me to do. I informed him that I already had a full-time job doing my work. How can I do Bob's as well? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I completely agree. Listen, Bob was hired so Bob should do the work, right? I, I get helping Bob, but that wasn't the point. He specifically said, Bob told me to do his work. That's different than helping. Nonetheless, he continues. Secondly, I showed the email that said no one is capable of doing my boss's job. <laughs> I was left alone after this. Bob basically did nothing for three months. My boss returned blowing up how much work she had to do. She tried to blame the workers on the ground for not being helpful enough. I sent her back her email where she stated that I nor any staff were capable of doing her work. We didn't see her leave her office for months afterwards. <laughs> Look guys, that's the end of today's story. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and I'm out.